Oh, well, that's terrifying. Could you imagine waking up and seeing this thing standing at the foot of your bed? Hey, guys, here is Lightning Collection Parantis Head from Hasbro. Again, wishing it had more paint, but it's a pretty cool sculpt. I got mine at Target. I'll put a direct link in the video description for anybody interested. Parantis Head is the fifth large-scale monster. If you're into model railroading, you can have them attacking your city. Uh-oh. This bridge could have used a falcon sword. Let's hope the dinosaurs can stop him. So Parantis Head was Lord Zed's first monster, appearing in The Mutiny, parts 1, 2, and 3. Let, let's uh, do like a little recap of The Mutiny. <laughs> so it's just another day at Rita's palace until Lord Zed shows up, and he yells at Rita because she was unable to defeat the Power Rangers. Lord Zed decides to banish Rita, and he shrinks her down and puts her back in the space dumpster. Zed sees that Zordon is still around. So first, Lord Zed introduces his new Z-putties, Zordon tells the rangers about Lord Zed's new putties, they morph, and they face Lord Zed's Z-putties for the first time, initially getting their butts kicked, until Jason realized that if you hit them directly in the Z, they explode. Well, that's a bad place to put a weakness. So the rangers defeated all of Zed's putties, and then they returned to the command center. But Lord Zed wasn't finished, he decided to make his own monster, not use one of Rita's inferior monsters, so Lord Zed turned a piranha into Parantis Head. Back at the command center, Zordon warns the rangers that their zords may not be powerful enough for Lord Zed's magic. Once again, the rangers morph, and they go to the city to meet Perantis Head. The rangers arrive and immediately call their zords, even though Perantis Head isn't grown yet. The zords begin to show up, and Perantis Head freezes them, all but T-Rex Zord. Oh no, what are the rangers gonna do now? They're gonna call the T-Rex Zord. So now four of the zords are frozen, T-Rex shows up, and Perantis Head turns the T-Rex evil and against the rangers. So now that the rangers know Perantis Head can freeze their zords or make them evil, there's only one thing left to do. Call another zord! So Tommy calls the dragon zord, and at first the two zords fight each other, and then Perantis Head takes control of the dragon zord as well. So now both T-Rex and dragon zord are out of control and attacking, and the other four zords are frozen. The rangers only hope now is for Billy to make a device that will allow the rangers to regain control of their zords. The rangers distract Perantis Head by shooting him with the power blaster. And then Billy was able to free the T-Rex and the Dragon Zord. So now the Rangers had control of their Zords again. Lord Zed refused to be outsmarted by the Power Rangers, so he sunk the Rangers' Zords back into the Earth himself, which I guess he could have done all along. And then it was time for Lord Zed to make his monster grow. Perantis' head became giant, and then the Rangers were able to call their shiny new Zords that Zord out and Alpha were able to save and create. For some reason, the Thunder Zords were unsinkable and unable to be turned evil, so that's good. And they couldn't be frozen, I guess. It all worked out, right? So the rangers battled Perantis Head and their new Megazord, and they were victorious. Take Thunder Saber, you stupid fish! No new Zord for Tommy yet. It is not yet known if his powers will remain. Stay tuned to find out. And that about sums up the Mutiny Parts 1, 2, and 3. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is that the way it had to go for the rangers? Did they have to lose their Dino Zords? Could they have done anything differently? So I'm thinking maybe some things could have been done a little bit differently here. Like, what if the rangers reached for their blade blasters and just started shooting the fish, right? Instead of calling the zords, and then assemble the power blaster and blast him with that. And then call the zords as he's exploding before he's gotten his second life. And then by the time he grows, the megazord's there and slice him with the power sword. And they didn't even try calling Titanus. They could have had Titanus on standby, right? If they thought the megazord wasn't going to be strong enough. Form the Ultra Zord. That'll get him. I don't know. I think the Rangers could have handled Perantis head a little bit smarter. I don't think he was that tough of a monster, minus the freezing ability. I'm not trying to tell Jason how to do his job here, but I'm, I'm just saying, if I was the Red Ranger, after I saw him use this thing, I mean, I'm pretty sure his freezing ability was coming from this weapon, right? He would always had it by his mouth when he would shoot the beams. So uh, after he froze the first four Zords, I'd say let's try to get this weapon away from him before we call the next Zords, right? I, I don't know why they were calling the Zords in the first place before he was giant. That's not something the Rangers typically did. Uh, I'm pretty sure Zordon even told him not to do that. All I know is Zordon said, your Zords may not be powerful enough, so they go and then they call the Zords. I, I don't know. I, I think the Rangers kind of messed that one up. <laughs> that, that whole episode, I think they just did everything wrong. You can let me know what you think in the comments. I, I personally, if I were the Red Ranger, I would have I would have handled it a little differently. I, I guess you guys let me know. All right, I'm gonna end here. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Links are in the video description. Oh, and I, I did change our Instagram. It used to just be 
for everything. Now it's just MMPR Toys official. I'll put a link in the description. It's just gonna be Power Ranger stuff from now on. We moved our like personal life stuff to its own thing. All right. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Good night. All right, I think I found the hardest trivia question in here. What monster chicken was controlled by a computer named Romeo inside it? Chunky Chicken, Love Bird, Red Rooster, Snizzard Lips, or the Hatchling? What monster chicken was controlled by a computer named Romeo inside of it? Mighty Morphin, anyone know? I actually have to think about that one for a sec. I, I think I know the answer, but Romeo the computer inside the chicken monster. I think I know that.